What's up, family? We have some good information in regards to our Social Security beneficiaries. Yes, we are talking about some new relief could be on the way. Check this out right here, guys, where there is a new bill that is on the table. And yes, it is projected to cut federal taxes and as well as it would extend uh, the Social Security Trust Fund to the year of 2054. They are calling this bill a win-win bill for Social Security recipients. In fact, uh, this particular proposed congressional bill right now is aimed towards relieving the tax burden on Social Security beneficiaries while also increasing a key trust fund's finances so that it remains fully funded for a longer period of time. Right now, we all know that the trust fund is expected to run out of money by the year of 2033, but one lawmaker is referring to this new bill as a win-win, although it does likely face an uphill battle when it comes time to pass into law. But anyways, the bill is also named for a You Earned It, You Keep It Act, which was reintroduced last week by U.S. Representatives Angie and Yadira. Uh, this particular bill proposes to repeal federal taxes on Social Security benefits and to delay the looming insolvency issue of the Social Security Program's Old Age and Survivors Insurance, also known as the OASI Trust Fund, by at least two decades to the year of 2054. Now, again, the OASI is expected to run out of money by the year of 2033 or 2034. When it does, the SS program will be solely funded by payroll taxes, which currently only cover about 76 Seven percent of the SS benefits, and according to a Think Advisor, uh, they noted that the proposed piece of legislation right now would keep the trust fund solvent by expanding Social Security payroll taxes to wages above two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. And right now, in two thousand twenty-four, taxes are imposed only on income up to one hundred sixty-eight thousand six hundred dollars. And under this new bill, the cap will continue to rise until it reaches 250,000 or above that amount. Yes, guys, this is an amazing new bill on the table and uh, the Social Security Office of the Chief Actuary found that this particular bill, uh, it has two key provisions that it would extend the ability of the trust fund to pay scheduled benefits for the additional 20 years, according to a blog from the National Association of Plan Advisors. Meanwhile, federal income taxes on Social Security benefits would also end as well. Currently, certain Social Security recipients must pay federal income taxes on their SS benefits. Those are only in specific states, depending on how much outside of the income that they actually earn. And the Social Security's Office of Chiefs Actuary also claimed that uh, the bill would reduce the federal debt by $8.9 trillion over the next 75 years. And like I said, like they said, this bill is a win-win. It's a tax cut for seniors and a way to ensure that more Americans can depend on the Social Security benefits that they've earned over the years of working 30 or 35 plus years in the workforce. And on top of that, it's fiscally responsible, according to the lawmaker, saying in a statement that, look, I'm leading the charge on this issue in Congress because we need to get money back into the pockets of middle class Americans. So again, guys, like I said, this is a huge relief. Uh, so far, it has not been passed, guys. So don't get carried away. This is just a new bill that was introduced or reintroduced, and it does look very promising. But again, like they said, this will receive a little bit of an uphill battle as it tries to uh, crawl through the narrow spaces of the House of Representatives and the Senate. Uh, so again, but at least we have someone that is out there, some lawmakers that are doing something trying to improve the Social Security Trust Fund. Like I said, uh, this particular program is expected to run out of money by the year of 2033. And if they don't do something, those benefits for the recipients that have been promised for years, that amount of money that they receive on a monthly basis is going to be cut short, about 23% short. So again, hopefully this bill does get a little bit of traction. I'm sure negotiations will have to 
happen in the meantime. But overall, guys, this does look like a win-win plan or bill on the table. What do you guys think about this? Do you guys agree or do you not even understand how all of this actually works? But uh, if so, guys, if you get a chance, hit the like button down below as well as drop me a comment as well. I would love to hear from you. But uh, anyways, guys, moving on to somewhat similar to Social Security, we're going to talk about briefly of one huge supporter in Congress. We are talking about Bernie Sanders. He is one of the largest advocates for Social Security and increasing the program. Uh, but anyways, over the weekend, guys, in fact, on Friday, someone decided to set his office on fire. Yes, it says right here that a man was charged with setting a fire at Senator Bernie Sanders' Vermont office. And yes, apparently authorities have arrested that man and they did it on Sunday in connection with a fire that broke out at his office in Burlington, Vermont. Uh, but anyways, uh, it did cause damaging to the building, but luckily none of the occupants were harmed at all. So uh, anyways, guys, the individual that they did arrest was an individual 35 years old by the name of Shant. He is from Northridge, California. And again, they have arrested him and he will be facing charges very, very soon. So anyways, no one was hurt. Nothing to worry about there. But uh, moving on, guys, I do want to go ahead and talk to you about a new settlement from a data breach that recently happened. Uh, this is going to shock you guys because this might affect a lot of our older individuals, especially our seniors. So from that perspective, that it could affect uh, some social security beneficiaries out there. Uh, take a look at this right here, guys, that uh, they are saying that Americans can actually claim up to $10,000 from a $1 million data breach settlement uh, that was recently issued. Uh, yes, uh, this is a little bit unique, but pay attention right here. Uh, the payments come from a $1 million pot after Empress Ambulance Service allegedly failed to protect consumer information. Have you guys had a trip in an ambulance by Empress EMS? Uh, but anyways, if so, you could be eligible to receive up to $10,000. Uh, this is going to come in the form of a check to any individuals that uh, were a victim in this huge data breach lawsuit. Uh, but anyways, guys, it does say that the settlement benefits claimants who got data breach notifications from Empress Ambulance Service or Empress EMS based in Yonkers, New York. The notification informed those affected that uh, back in July, a cyber hacking crime might have compromised their information. Uh, the plaintiffs are claiming that Empress EMS could have stopped the 2022 data breach with better cybersecurity precautions due to the company's alleged negligence to plaintiffs claim hackers gain access to patient data and sensitive information. Now, while Empress EMS didn't admit wrongdoing, the ambulance service paid the $1 million settlement to resolve the class action lawsuit. All claim forms must be submitted by May the 8th to qualify for the settlement's benefits. So, uh, if you guys have rode in any type of ambulance over the past, let's say, five years or so, and you live in New York because that is where they are based, Empress EMS Ambulance Services, guys, you could be eligible for $10,000. Under the settlement's terms, class members can get up to $10,000 in compensation for credit, tax, or theft-related charges. Claimants can also choose an alternative cash fund payment if they don't want reimbursement for documented data breach expenses. Uh, so anyways, guys, uh, this might not necessarily affect a lot of people, but it will affect at least a small amount of people that perhaps live in New York or have lived in New York and you have traveled on an ambulance for any type of services whatsoever, you could be eligible for up to $10,000. Definitely a look online, Google this information because because you never know. You definitely want to submit your form and your information uh, just in case, guys. This is a large sum of money from this class action lawsuit. Uh, but anyways, guys, last but not least, I do want to go ahead and tell you about some sad news that was announced uh, about 72 hours ago. Uh, the 99 cents store or the 99 cents only store 
uh, they have decided to close all of their stores. This is sad for a lot of people, especially the ones that have lived in these particular states. Uh, this particular company, they were founded back in 1982 and they operate about two, 371 stores across California, Texas, Arizona, and Nevada. And last Thursday, guys, the company officially announced plans to close down completely, citing some financial difficulties stemming from the pandemic, as well as changing consumer demand and the rising inflation. Uh, so again, guys, just wanted to give you that information. I know a lot of people, uh, especially myself, uh, maybe you guys out there shop at this particular store, 99 cents only store. And unfortunately, they will be closing all 371 stores. Uh, so we definitely want to give a homage and kudos to that particular organization. And uh, we love them. We appreciate them while they were open. And uh, we definitely will be missing them uh, moving forward. So uh, anyways, guys, what do you think about this information today, especially the Social Security bill that is on the table, the win-win bill that could improve Social Security programs, Social Security benefits? Uh, uh, yes, it could improve it uh, very well, guys, and I'm definitely excited to see that. What do you think about that? If you get an opportunity, comment down below. Also, don't forget, if you haven't, hit the like button on this video. I really appreciate it. And then, as always, if you haven't, subscribe to the channel, guys. It definitely helps us grow as well as share this information to a lot of people. But outside of all of that, I hope to see you guys on the next video.